should you or should you not send your child back to preschool? This is a question so many parents across the country have been asking themselves for months, including Jessica Wook, a mother of four. All of her kids are learning from home. We felt like that was probably the safest route for us to go into that initially. Um, so it, we weighed our options. We really didn't want to dive right into the hybrid in-person learning option that they had. We wanted to limit our exposure. The question of when to send kids back to school is one Allison McMurtry, owner of a Goddard school in Denver, is asked a lot. I know it's a really hard decision on whether or not to send your child to school. Um, and every family has different circumstances. You need to weigh out your risk tolerance and your family's needs and balance it with what we know about the science. Some other parents who have already sent their kids back to school understand that it is very personal for every parent and child. After we saw like the three page email of all the new health and safety stuff, in addition to what they were doing previously, we said, okay, this sounds pretty good. This again, this sounds like a, a low risk, you know, a low risk to take with, with the kids with sending them back. Still, some parents like Natalie Grenoble aren't quite ready to walk through the doors yet. I think that um, we will feel a lot more comfortable once a vaccine is available. I think it's going to depend how long it takes to be available to everyone, how it's re if it's required. There's going to be a lot of questions we'll have, but. Yeah, I will definitely feel a lot more comfortable once a vaccine is available. Dr. Jack Maypole, a leading pediatrician from Boston Medical Center, says the question of going back to school is a tricky one to answer. People are saying consistently, like, you know, should I wait for the vaccine? And my answer is, uh, depends on you and the resources that you have, right? I think it may be some time before a vaccine is meaningfully manufactured, distributed, and given to a sizable enough fraction of the population that you could really count on that offering you protection. So that's probably somewhere between earliest six months, probably more like a year. So if you have a year, there you go. If you don't have a year, then I think, you know, you may want to just reconsider what you're looking at and you may want to relook at your options and think a little further. To explore additional topics, please visit goddardschool.com slash parenting under five. For Parenting Under 5, I'm Christina Nicholson. Thanks so much for watching.